Who's a famous dick in literature? What? Dick Turpin or Dick Whittington. Oh. I think it's Richard the Third. Four letters. Richard the Fourth. How about Richard Corey? Richard the Lionhearted. Excuse me, but uh, could I interest any of you people in going out for lunch later? You know, ordering from an actual menu, eating real food for a change. Well, what am I supposed to do about my liverwurst? That's all you ever eat is liverwurst. I like liverwurst. Liverwurst is byproducts. I like byproducts. See, this is my point. Now, every day we sit here scarfing down liverwurst sandwiches, blowing smoke in each other's faces, coughing and wheezing. You don't like that? No, I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world. Well, if it's the smoke that bothers you, just say so. I won't smoke in your holy presence. Edna, my dear, you can smoke until your lungs are one grisly mass of scar tissue. Now, far be it for me to deprive you of a solitary puff. If you don't like the smoke, why don't you go sit in the no-smoking lounge? We don't have a no-smoking lounge. Oh, too bad. Well, since Valerie used to work downtown in administration, maybe she could pull some strings and get us one. Hey, Edna, you know what? I didn't ask for that administrative job. They asked for me. I didn't like them, they didn't like me. I gotta have some coffee, Julius, I need a quarter. You always need a quarter. You owe me $6,000 in Sorry. quarters. Oh, come on, Julius, I gotta have a shot of caffeine. I'm facing a truckload of adults today. Well, what's today? Questions and answers about applying for colleges. All juniors are their parents. I gotta be alert, they're gonna be asking me trick stuff like, how much does it cost? What are some of the good ones? Yeah, those are real toughies. Ah, uh, the whole thing's a waste of time anyway. Why do you say that? Because there's not a kid in any of my classes who could come close to getting into college. Oh, that's just a delightful attitude. Don't you talk to me about attitude. You come waltzing back into this school, they give you classes full of gifted students. Me, I get the armed felons. Got a problem, kid? Give them to Edna McCauley. Now, now, Edna, they're not all armed. You got a couple of white kids in there somewhere, don't you? They'll protect you. Let's not do the race thing today, okay? Yes, sir. What's your Fred McMurray vehicle, my three blank? Stooges. Four letters. Pigs, my three pigs. Dogs. Sons! My three sons. My God, don't you people know anything? We know it, Edna. We were just kidding around. Ain't you been here long enough to know when we're kidding around? No, I guess I ain't. And the famous dick from literature is Moby. No. Four letters. Moby's five. M-O-B-I-E. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Mm. Isn't somebody supposed to say what's good about it? You're the principal. You tell us. Okay. There's fresh meatloaf in the cafeteria. Edna, would you, uh, would you come to my office sometime today, preferably? Let's do it now. You mean right now? Yes. I'm awake now. All right. Now is fine. <clears throat> now. Jim Dandy. Hmm. What do you mean by that? By hmm? Nothing. No, 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 Julius. When somebody says hmm, there's a reason. How old a woman do you reckon Edna is? Uh, reckon? Golly, I reckon she must be anywhere from what, 55 to 65? Hmm. She does seem more contrary than usual. I think we could be dealing with some acute, basic physiological changes here. Good, guys. Let's all play gynecologist. She has definitely been more moody. She's always been moody. I mean, even for her. All right. Are we all going to go out to lunch later or what? You heard the man. There's meatloaf in the cafeteria. How can you pass that up? I'll go with you. <laughs> what? Just the two of us? Yeah, why not? I, I don't know. I just thought a whole gang of us was going. That's all. Well, then I'm not interested. Benny, you got a match? You got a quarter? My name is Dr. Julius Pepper. And yes, I am misunderstood, but enough about me. Let's talk about this place, Harrigan High. It's a lot like other public schools, racially imbalanced, poorly equipped, overcrowded, understaffed. We graduate 12th grade kids, many of whom have maybe an eighth grade equivalent education. We just send them out into a world they aren't ready for, and that sure isn't ready for them. But what you gotta do when you're a teacher, I reckon, is let that extraneous stuff just roll off your back and give your all to those kids. They're not fools. They know when you're dogging it, when your heart's not in it. So every day I give them 100% of myself. Now the trouble is, 
These days, they need at least 150%. But on the salary that they pay me, 100% is about as far as I'm going to go.